Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 39. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. All right, here we go. We have the stunning McLaren SLR with us now. I love this car to bits. It is amazing. A little bit slower than the rest of the A-Class cars, but still a very nice competitor. Oh, wow. 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 That was a good save there. Try and get into this guy's slipstream and use him to get past. We do have the two SLRs up in front. Hopefully we can catch up with them. Shouldn't be too difficult. Come on, let's go. And we're off. The other cars don't stand a chance. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up big time there. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Come on, let's get past the Mercedes this time. There we go. And we're wall riding. This is why I love this game so much, because you can actually, like, genuinely wall ride. And it works in this game. You don't get penalized. You don't get much speed penalties at all. So, you can just, like, wall ride around every corner. You can drive as if there are no corners in this game. And the start finish line is just up ahead. Very nice. Hey, here we go. Perfect. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Go, 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 go. Come on. Let's get this under five minutes at least. All right, here we go, come on. We've got long left. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Go, 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 come on.
where's this finish line? Come on! I want to get this done, because then I can rest before my live stream. I'm genuinely excited for this, though, coming back. Very good, though, there. 4 minutes 38.7. That's a very good lap time. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right. I don't know how many races we got left, though. I think we've got... Three or four? Four. Okay, so let's start off with the snake. This is like a very short time trial, but I remember this. This was crazy to drive. I do remember the snake. Because you just go left, right, left, right, left, right. It's almost You're like the zigzag, but it's not. The zigzag wasn't a proper zigzag. This is like a proper snake. Oh, that's the wrong button. I don't know why I was pressing the uh, R1 button. Here we go, though. We got 1 minute 22 to do. Um, I feel like we're definitely going to need to change the vehicle to something with a little more acceleration. So we're going to go for the LM McLaren F1. Especially with this, corners are everything. And this car is not good accelerating. It's good for cruising, the SLR, but not as good as this car is for corners. And we're off. Once you get the initial traction, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Awesome. I feel like it's going the wrong way, though. We should be going the opposite direction. So going down the snake. Then this is like a proper hill climb, it feels like now. Nice. Stay on the track. Perfect. No, no, no. Get back on. No! How have I done that? Ah! Oh. That was crazy. We went around the corner so well and then just crashed off. This is why this game was a little bit frustrating because of the jumps. It was sort of like you would lose control of the car and they were unrealistic jumps. But, I mean, you can't complain about a game like this that's, to be honest, one of the most fun games I've played in a long time. You can't really complain too much. I'm definitely looking forward to... Um, obviously, Solar Crown. I've said that many times now in this walkthrough. Um, but Test Drive Solar Crown is going to change so much. Or it has the potential. I don't know whether it is going to. But it has the potential to make racing games for the next 20 years probably feel like nothing. Because Test Drive Unlimited 2 still makes modern racing games feel like underwhelming. Even after all this time. Solar Crown has the potential. I mean, don't get me wrong, Forza Horizon 4 got very close to Test Drive Unlimited 2. But the one problem that they did was they were too rewarding. They gave you too much. They were just like, oh yeah, here's this, here's this, here's this. It's like, well, I've got 50 million credits now. I've done the same thing as I did before. It's like, though, oh, yeah, I've got 50 million credits now. And I don't know what to spend it on. And that's the problem with Forza Horizon 4. That Test Drive didn't have. Because you couldn't earn that much money. Uh, we did get a little bit of penalty. But we are still within the gold. So that's fine. Three seconds of penalty, though. Jesus. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right, we've got three more races left to go. And we've already, in today's session, which has been probably about three quarters of the length of yesterday's session, maybe even less, we've gotten nine times the amount of money. That's how much more money events give you in this game. Um, so this is one of the shorter events, I think, as well. This is another short time trial. Uh, I'm Your trying to leave the long event that I know is quite long. Till the last of these sections. 
But I may have accidentally picked the long one already. College Dean. I don't think I have. Let's have a look and see what this event is. Five miles, two minutes and ten seconds. And we're going to take the Koenigsegg CC8S for this one. And then once we've driven the Koenigsegg, I think we'll go for the final one being... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to drive finally. We'll figure out something. Oh, this is nice though. Those circle rims though, I don't like them that much. I think Koenigseggs are all right with circle rims. They're not too bad. Um, but I do feel like this is going to be the car that I drive on the final race. But, on that big final race, I won't be having an upgraded car. I'll just have it stock as it is, like it is now. I will change the colour though. This is uh, not a preferable colour. Nice. We've got a little bit of penalty through there. Nice. This is very fun. And the interior is very nice, like it is in the actual Koenigsegg. Look at that. That is insane. They did a great job of interiors, actually, and all that customization. 500 airtime points there. And one rear wheel on grass through that as well. Look at the airtime points and the drift points. Holy shit! <laughs> that was 700 points there. Right, there we go. That was good. That was fun. Airtime for days. Nice. Imagine if this game had two maps like TDU2. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Oh, crap. Oh, we were very close to not getting that gold there. I saw the time and was like, oh shit. But luckily, we didn't have enough penalties to push us over. 2 minutes, 9.230. We're at 2 million credits now, which is enough to buy a house, but we're not buying a house. Problem solved. Okay, final event, I think. Or, no, there's one more. So we've got this one to do now, which is 5.1 miles. Uh, so this one we're going to take... I don't know, probably the Koenigsegg again. We'll drive it once more. There we go. It wasn't letting me fast travel, okay? The game was bullying me. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right, here we go. The point. Let's get straight to the point. Haha. -ha. Insert laughing track here. Right, two minutes and 40 seconds. Let's do this. Right, we're going to have to be very quick with this as well. We can't lose too much time. And we're off. Hickam Village. Fair enough. Bum bum bada bum bum bada bum 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 bada bum 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 bada bum bum bada bum 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 bum. Alright, turn left. Okay, that was terrible. What on earth just happened? Okay, so this car isn't very quick in corners. We have found that out now. It's not ideal either. This will definitely be a nice car to drive on the uh, long race though. I think 
it is a big choice in a walkthrough um, to choose which car you want to drive because the car you want to drive on a walkthrough you're only going to do it once unless I come back and do another walkthrough but I don't think I'll be doing another walkthrough this game uh, we got penalty okay so we need to be aiming for 239 now that could even be 238 let's aim for 238 I couldn't even see where the road was. Ah, oh, we've ruined this. Koenigsegg, not a great choice of car, apparently. Might need upgrades. Even though I said no upgrades. May need it. Ah, uh, 69. I see where the finish line is. So we have about 30 seconds to get there. Oh, crap. No. I thought there was a wall there. No. 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 Right, so one attempt later and one car swap later and a tiny bit of penalty later. Uh, we are on our way to seeing if we can get this. Um, so far, it's looking all right. Just going to have to make sure we get that corner good. Oh, no, it's not looking all right. Shit, shit, shit. 31, 32. All right. Ah, silver. We got four seconds of penalty. Look at that. Wow. Okay. We'll continue with that for now because that is very tricky there. Your itinerary that was a very weak. tricky run. But uh, we're going to do the final race of today's recording session. Uh, and that is going to be not this. That is the mega race that we have to wait for. Uh, it is going to be this one. Where is it? Here we go. 16.6 .6 miles for a time trial. This is Freeway Flyer. And based on the fact that it is called Freeway Flyer. Uh, so this is on this side of the road. So we can fast travel here. Uh, based on the fact that it is called Freeway Flyer, we're going to take the Mi, the 412, Mi, the Mi 412, whatever it's called. Um, because this, that car is powerful as hell, and it's quick. And I want to see exactly how fast it can go for how long. So uh, it's going to be a nice uh, test. Uh, based on the fact that it is going to take about six minutes to do, faster the car the better. Uh, let's just, fingers crossed, hope we don't crash and that there's no off-road penalty in this race. Uh, there is off-road penalty. Okay, thank you for that. Let's uh, flick on those lights. And we're off. Eight point three miles to the first checkpoint. There are two checkpoints and a finish line on this race. Already at 200 miles an hour. Very nice. Uh, for 16.6 .6 miles on average to finish in six minutes, requires us to be at an average speed of 180 miles an hour throughout the entire thing. Based on the fact that we're at 240, no problem cruising. I don't think we'll have... There we go. If I tap the brakes, I can... Ah, oh, shift down a gear. Okay. I have crashed, though. That's not good. Let's try and get back up to speed as quick as possible. Come on. Don't do me like this game. I just want to win. This is cool, though, because we're on, like, high-up highways. There's, like, roads miles in the air going throughout Hawaii, which is epic. Like, I really want these kind of roads to be back in Test Drive, but it all also depends on what map we're in. Because if we're not in... Okay, looks like we're going the wrong way down the road for this bit now. Uh, I'll try and stick it to the very 
inside to see if I can get back to the other side at some point. But probably won't be able to. Not for a while anyways. Look at the speed. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> no. We're over the edge. There was no way we were recovering that. No way at all. Right, so this time I've made sure that we are on the correct side of the road. Uh, as the tunnel is magically spawning in front of me. Uh, but we are on the correct side of the road. We're going to watch out for there because there's a massive bump there. Make sure we get around this corner and we are safe for now. Get to fourth. Thank you. This is what bugs me about automatic gearboxes sometimes is cars will stay in their higher gear when it needs to shift down no matter what. Um, obviously games like F1 will be decent. Oh crap. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, we're safe. Just about. We haven't even hit our first checkpoint yet. But uh, the first checkpoint is at least halfway into the race. So as soon as we hit this, we're halfway. Um, and we are nearly halfway through our time as well. Nice. Okay. Nice. Go, 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 go. Perfect. We're still maintaining that 240 mile an hour speed. Oh my gosh. No way. That is the most insane jump yet. 1400 points. I saw that and was like, this is going to be epic. I did slow down as well because I was worried what was on the other side. So uh, you might have seen me slow down. Um, but if I knew what was on the other side, I could have flat out that and got a 2,000 points easy. Nice. Still a bit of airtime going through here. And by the looks of it, we're going to easily destroy the target speed or target time as well. Very close to the C here. Um to be this high up. Seems a bit odd. But uh, we are going 280 miles an hour now. And we've lost all that speed. Lovely. Ha <laughs> ha. Brilliant. Moving around all these rubbish traffic cars. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. Come on. Nearly done. Oh no, we got to have some time penalty. But by the looks of it, being 0 0.5 miles out, I think we've got this in the bag. No problem. I think that's about three seconds of penalty as well, yeah. How much was it? Nine seconds. Jesus. Okay, but five minutes 55. That was very good. 174,000 credits. Thank you very much. And that is that done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah, I can't push,